welcome to Gorn Guitar Skillets Fire Inside of Me. That's the title of the song. So I also feel that I have a fire inside of me, a burning desire to do these tutorials. So if you want to support that, feel free to uh, subscribe to this channel, like this tutorial when we are done together, if you enjoyed it. So thank you for support, guys. Let's move on with fire inside of me from Skillet. And with that, we're gonna go with a capo set on the second fret. We have uh, six easy chords with that setup, so that's the reason for it. Let's put the capo on and go over the chords, starting with A minor. Okay, so A minor goes open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. We have F next which is a bar chord you play uh, index finger on the first fret where you push down all strings and then you need to add 3rd on A, 3rd on D and 2nd on G. Speaking of G, that's the next chord. And that goes 3rd on E, 2nd on A, open D, open G, 3rd B and 3rd E. We have C. That goes 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B, and open E. We also have the D minor. That will be open D, 2nd G, 3rd B, 1st E. And then later in the bridge, we also going to utilize the E minor. So E minor will be the last chord, and it goes open E, 2nd A, 2nd D, open G, open B, and open E. Okay. So, we're gonna look at this uh, intro that is pretty much the instrumental part, intro, outro. It goes in the same way there. So, we're gonna look at these uh, notes. It's based upon the A minor chord. That is what you're gonna have as a backbone to uh, pick out these notes from. So, I like to start with a bass kick there on the A minor. And then we're gonna look at three different melodies or rounds to go for. So, that is the base for all of these rounds. So that will be to play first fret B string, and then open B, then open B, and second G. And then we have different uh, endings here. And the first one goes, that will be second G to open G, and then second D, third D, and back to second D. Okay, so that's the first ending, so together. Okay, and then the second ending now, we always have this bass starts here, so. And the second ending goes like that, and that will be to play on the G string, second G, open G, second G again and then open high E. That's the second ending and the third ending after you play the main. You're gonna play this. And that will be to play second on D, open D, second on D, then third D and second D. All right. So there you have it, it's uh, how you're gonna play the intro. I don't know if you have a use of that with just one guitar. I thought it would be cool to know about it if you're playing a band or so. You have the melody there. Now let's go into the actual song. We're gonna start with the A minor. And for that, we need to learn how to handle it. So we have a strumming pattern that is divided into two different parts. So grab the A minor and the first part will be like this. Okay, so it's down, down, clap, down. And then you immediately continue with part two, which will be up, up, down, clap, down. So up, up, down, clap, down. So if you connect these two parts, it will be down, down, clap, down, up, up, down, clap, down. rounds all right so there we have it 
Now let's go into the verse play. And you're gonna play A minor, one full round. That means both part one and part two. And then you're gonna play F part one, G part two. Back three chords, you're gonna play for three rounds. So a couple rounds goes like this. play three rounds for you exactly how you're gonna do it and then you're gonna play the pre-course and uh, we're gonna come into that part now you're gonna play F one full round C part one and G part two that three chord you're gonna play for two rounds so F one full that is one round you're gonna play it for two rounds F one full round, C part one, G part two. That takes us into the first course, okay? So now you're gonna play A minor, one full round, C, one full round, D minor, one full round, and then F part one, G part two. That five chords you're gonna play for two rounds. And then you have the ending, which is F one full round, D minor part one, and G part two. For only that final round. So it's a total of three rounds. So A minor one, C one, D minor one, then F part one and G part two for two rounds. And the third round, you're gonna play F one full round, D minor part one and G part two, like this. one course and uh, into now the second round of everything I believe it's an instrumental part right after that chorus in the same way as you play it for intro then the second verse is played in the exact same way as the first one and the same goes with the second pre-chorus and even the second chorus no changes there after the second chorus comes a bridge part we're now about two minutes and 16 seconds into the song I believe and now we're gonna look at that bridge part we're gonna play uh, a minor and we're gonna play almost one full round we're gonna play all the way up to the clap the second and last clap so the down down clap down up up down you're gonna stay with the A minor for that point and then you're gonna just switch to G and play one down okay so you're gonna do that for four rounds so I'm gonna go slow with one round to show exactly how it's done so A minor all the way up to the final a clap there the second clap you play it down up up down on the a minor and then you switch to g and play one down for four rounds like this okay and i mentioned uh, the down you will also include a final clap so the last down you switch to g okay so That is one round. You'll play for four rounds like this. Okay, then you're gonna continue with F part one, C part one, and now comes the E minor in handy, part one, A minor part one, F part one, C part one, and then E minor, just one down to the pause. So just part one is a down, down, clap, down. So F, C, E minor, A minor. Again, F, C, and E minor. And that ends the bridge part. Okay, so that's that. And after that bridge part comes the, the final part of the song. That's the third chorus. And uh, yeah, you're gonna play almost the same here. The first part of this chorus, which is the A minor one, C one, D minor one, and then F part one and G part two. For the two previous courses, you play that for two rounds only. This time you play for three rounds and you end with one round in the same way as the other courses. F part one, sorry, F one full round, D minor part one and G part two. And that wraps it up for Skillet's Fire Inside of Me. 
I enjoyed today's tutorials, guys, and guys and I really appreciate your support. It gives me motivation to uh, go on and keep on with that. If I see you, uh, appreciate that. So feel free to show me some love. Subscribe to this channel. I mentioned that before. So important for me. So thank you, guys. Until next time, play tuned.